Hi, this is Cassandra from Homeschool Peace. Today I'm sharing with you the Matthew C Fraction Overlay Kit. This kit is used with the Matthew C Epsilon level, but you could also consider adding it along with your existing math curriculum if your student is currently working on fractions. So let's go ahead and take a look at this fraction kit together. The kit comes in this small, durable case. The case itself is a hard cardboard. The cardboard you can see in many areas is folded over and it has a coating to the cardboard. This is our first year using this kit with my oldest student. It will be interesting to see how this lasts over three students. Since it's just our first year, everything looks really nice, but we'll see how the cardboard lasts over time. When I open it, there is a Velcro circle here on both sides and that just keeps it shut. I found it fits really well on our bookshelf as well as in my student's math drawer. When opening this up, it opens into four different sections and each of these sections have some small pockets. The first three have these cut like a flap or a cover that goes over top of the pockets and it can go right into the small cutout which holds this cover over each pocket. The first three have two pockets each and the third pocket actually has the most cards and uh, covers as well. And the last, the fourth pocket is more for your resources, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. So then let's go ahead and take a look at what's included in each of these pockets. The first ones are halves and our thirds. There's a tab that folds over to keep everything in place. There's a little cutout where you can slide that right in, which holds it together. This one is for fourths and fifths, while this final larger pocket is for your sixths, as well as eighths, tenths, sixteenths, and units. So there's a lot more going on in this third one. So we're gonna first take a look at these first two. So in this very first one, I can open it up and I can see here that I have two plastic overlays for my halves, and then there's some heavy card stock. So this is a coated, feels pretty durable card stock. Taking a look at the thirds, it is also uh, has some heavy duty pink card stock, as well as two overlay cards that are divided in three. These cards, the plastic cards, are your denominator. What is your student dividing the number by? While your numerator, how much, is going to be the colored card. So when teaching your student how to actually build a fraction, sort of the, your basics of just going through early fractions, you would pull out one of these green cards, which is actually inside this, this thicker one, and you would say to your student, you know, looking at our green Matthew C block, if you're using the blocks, it's really nice how these tie together. If you're not using the blocks or haven't used Matthew C, you don't need to have these blocks, but if you do, it's nice to pull them out. You can show how this is a single unit, and we're gonna take this unit and we are going to divide it up and create a fraction. So I'm gonna flip this over, and I'm actually gonna use the white side. And so if I say to my student, I want to create one half. So what is my denominator? It's gonna be two. So I'm gonna take this two overlay, and I'm gonna cut this one unit in half. But I only want one half. So then I pull out my numerator, the how much, and I'm gonna slide it between the white card and the overlay, and my student now has built one half. I can have them do this again with, say, two thirds. They would pull this out, pull out the overlay. We're gonna divide this up. For our thirds, there's not just two cards. I have three cards because obviously one third, two thirds, or if I had the whole or three thirds, but for this one, I want two thirds. And so I'm gonna slide it right between it. And now my student has created two thirds. What's really great about these colors, and again, going back to if you've been using the Matthew C blocks, is the orange matches with the orange two block. So if I'm cutting something in half or creating two pieces, it's the two block. For thirds, I'm using the pink. And so I have the pink, the three block for pink. 
when you move into the next pocket, which is the fourths and fifths, they're gonna be very similar to what you just saw for the halves and thirds. It has the two overlays each, plus the cards that you need for your numerator. We see here though that the fourths are yellow, which is really great. It matches with the yellow block, which is the four block, and the fifths match with the, the blue block, the light blue block for the fifths. And so we have obviously more. So as you keep going through the, going dividing it up by a higher denominator, you're obviously gonna have more pieces. So you'll have like skinny little pieces like this for you to make one fifth, or you can do you know two fifths. So you're gonna be able to use these cards to work with your student on actually building these fractions. If your student is a kinetic learner or the student really just likes to be able to really see and experience what they're building, this type of manipulative would be really helpful for your student, whether using the epsilon level or any type of math program that's really using fractions to really be able to have a hands-on way to really build their fractions. So now let's go take a look at what's in this third final pocket. The third pocket is thicker because there's just more included for your sixths as well as eighths and then some other overlays that you have for tenths, sixteenths. The first thing in this pocket is what I had already previously showed was these green cards that are to represent your units. So you'll be using these with building many of the fractions. Other things included in the very top is the sixths. And now the six, obviously every time you're going with a larger number of your denominator, you're going to need more of the numerator cards. So that's why there's just more of the six. You have like the little skinny, you know, one six to be able to have your student build the six. Again, that purple matches right with your purple six bar as well. My student has been using this kit so far with Epsilon, and he definitely has been already able to really make that connection. And it's been helpful more to find like which of the cards to pick up. You know, if he's looking for the denominator, the sixth denominator, he's able to easily see this purple because he knows that purple means six. So that's been really helpful. In the other section, we have some other cards. You have your brown, which would represent your eighths, which our eighth, eight bar is chocolate or chocolate if you have been teaching your kids that way. And so we have these skinny little bars to represent our eights as well. And these overlays here for your, for your eights. So this would be like your one eight, and then we have like two eighths. So that's what your student would be building out. There are some other cards as well as the eighths. Um, we also have this half card, which is eighths. We, and then there's two 10 cards as well, these vinyl cards. And the last thing is just this small 16th card. So all of these are being used when building problems. The last is the resource pocket. This just has some nice information to reference. It has a little um, booklet for how to actually build out and use this fraction overlay kit. Some other little just small resource cards about comparing fractions as well as the rule of four. So some little things that you can just grab and look at while you're working in this kit and that just fits really nicely in this pocket. This was more like the high level of just what was included in the actual kit itself. And so now I'm just gonna show some examples of some other things you can use these fraction cards for. Besides just building fractions, I can have my student also build equivalent fractions. So building say two thirds as well as four sixths. My student can actually compare both of those and see that these are the exact same size. So two thirds is the same as four sixths. I can actually even remove this sixths overlay and even just pop this one over top and you can just see that it's the exact same. So your student can manipulate that and really just see that, oh, this is actually the exact same. So that can really be helpful when trying to work through equivalent fractions. Another really fun way to use these overlays are fractions that have different denominators. So my example, this first one, I have one half, and I'm going to be having my student add it to two thirds. So are my denominators different? I have a two as the denominator for this first 
fraction, but three for the denominator for my second fraction. So I'm gonna have my student pull out the other overlays that relate to these fractions. So the other half and the other third. Now for this other half, I'm going to have the student overlay it over the two thirds. But instead of this way, I'm gonna have them turn it. So instead of two thirds, now I have four sixths. For this one being one half, I'm going to use the third denominator card and instead I'm gonna have it this way and it's gonna cover over top of the one half. So instead of one half, I have three sixths. So now my denominator is the same. I have the same six as my denominator. So now I'm going to say instead of one half plus two thirds, it's really three sixths plus four sixths. And so that would be seven sixths. So your student can really just visualize how to take fractions that have different denominators and how to add those together. There's so much more you can do with this kit. In this video today is really just this high level of what's included in each of these pockets and some simple things you can use these cards for. I really hope to share some other videos on us using these cards. If you have any specific questions on the overlays or other types of problems you can use these for, you know, leave your questions and comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.